I've had flashes when I was riding my unicycle that I was riding along a six inch wide board, 500 feet in the air, backwards, just riding along with all these people looking at me with these big wide eyes. And I just almost, I fell off once when I thought about it. Riding my unicycle is just like playing basketball. People live two different lives. They'll use basketball to meet people and things. And unicycle is just a skill, part of my life. It's just something I do. About five years ago at my school, it was a class and uh, we just got on them and we held onto a fence and just started going. And you'd go for an inch or two at first and a couple of people fell and broke their arm. I probably fell about 10 or 20 times every day. And then finally, that one big day, you know, the day before you'd say, I'm gonna quit. And then the next day you say, I'll do it one more day. And then you get on it and away you go. People see me riding around all over the place. I'm going to work, and to me, it's just like a normal, casual thing. And some people look at me, and I just look at them and smile and say, thank you. I don't see it as anything special. I've had thoughts about making a living at flying the Goodyear blimp but I, I haven't really thought about it right now as a living, but I think maybe someday it would be fun. Hi, Tony. See you. How was school today? It was all right. Come and help me with the groceries. What'd you do in English? Uh, we did an essay, and we'll be getting our day tomorrow. Good for you. How about biology? Um, I got a test back and I got I think people my age have a lot of problems with their home life. I've been lucky and I haven't had any problems with my family life at all. I think that's helped me tremendously in school and in my hobbies and things like that. Hey, Mom. <laughs> oh, that's great, Tony. I just learned Very how to do good. it. Just beautiful. I'm going to go over and show Andy Gomez how I do it. All right, go and show Andy. Will you come home in time for dinner? I might have a butt cheat over there, All okay? All right, all right. But save a little room for dessert, okay? Okay. I'll see you later. Okay, wait just a second. May rain. I sort of enjoy being looked at, I think. I like to show off. If I see somebody looking at me and I'm just riding along, I'll whip around and go backwards and try to make an impression. It's, it's fun. Same old routine. How's the ranch? Feel good. Have you gotten any new animals lately? Yeah. Yeah, which one, what kind did you get? New, new goats. New goats? Yeah. Have they given any milk yet? No, not yet. I go in about three or four in the afternoon and talk to Andy Gomez, who's the owner of the Mexican restaurant. Um, he talks to me and he tells me about the different things I used to do when I was in there when I was young. And he sort of smiles when I, when I ride my unicycle because he's from Mexico and he doesn't see it in Mexico very often. And we'll just talk about different things in the restaurant business and house life, and we just have good times. Can you just pull it as hard as I can? Yeah. Okay. Kind of hard. Got it. And what happens when this gets filled? Hmm? What happens when this gets filled? Well, uh, we can put another one. Oh, okay. Let's do it. It goes, it goes quickly. Bring it. That's right. Yeah, look how fast it's going now. Uh huh. Hi, 
How'd you like to learn how to ride a unicycle? Oh, yeah. It's fun. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Get in the seat. No. Wait, a lot of my back. friends think I'm crazy because I study all the time and, and I talk to the teachers who are generally older and they enjoy seeing one student out of 50 who come up and ask them how their day was. A lot of my friends are like that and I enjoy people who enjoy all people rather than just people that are under 20 years old. Lisa, come on. Cycle to get to one particular job that's only about a mile away and he is a 91 year old man who is from Germany and he was a fighter in World War One for the Germans and he managed to come over here because he got shot down in the war and he came over here and all his friends are Jewish for some strange reason how yeah. far is that from Hamburg oh <laughs> I mean is it it's, close it's or a far? Middle of Germany, the middle of Germany, and mm -hmm. Hamburg is at the at the uh, floor. What sort of plants are we going to plant now? No. Yeah. Nothing special. Uh, we have <coughs> the only thing we have um, uh, we have to plant to, to transplant is the rose. Oh, you mean the rose over here? We work for two or three hours gardening or building. I lay bricks for him, and we cut and prune and things like that in the garden. Did you plant this tree? Yeah. How long ago? Oh, how long ago? About um, 25 years. You planted this? Yes. Just a little seed? No, and it was a little tree. If, start, if they are falling down, yeah. all, all the ones which fall down are fairly, fairly ripe. I mean, you don't, f you don't pick them off before no. you don't pick them? I always wait till, till they fall. I think what I like best about Mr. Rosengall is his humor and his way he's so active. He comes out and build, and whatever I do, he just helps me do. And he cracks funny German jokes in German. Unfortunately, I can't understand them, so he, he sort of makes fun of me. See, then, from this little bud, it comes to the side. Oh, I see. You mean so, you mean so when, you cut it, when you cut it off? bottom then yes. then more juice goes up to that it, far it wants to. we talk a lot about his old friends that have all sort of you know haven't written and haven't come back you know and take more weeds out like that. people okay. die when they get old See you later. Bye -bye. on a street near my house. I go and garden. That's all we do. And she, I think she just enjoys seeing me because she, she isn't around younger people very often at all. Uh, they don't, you don't put them in dirt at all any more than you do orchids. How do they get the nutrients out of the, you know, out of the air? Yeah, they, well, naturally, in uh, the, uh, I mean, they just take tropical this stuff countries, right out of the they get it. Oh, the bottle brush? This is a, well, I, I thought it was a shrub, and I was going to put a small shrub back here, but it turned into quite a large tree. <laughs> well, I you, like it very when much. When did you plant this one? Well, I'll, uh, Actually. we'll get some cuttings before you go, and it's so nice that young people are interested in that type of thing now. I don't know her name. I've, I've worked for her for almost a year now, and I just happen, haven't asked her her name. Come on in. I think old people are nice, and I've just found that in my travelings 
It just happens I meet it's older like people. I'm sure some older people do feel lonely, but then there's some younger people who feel lonely too. You mean you like rice pudding? Yeah, I love it. That's Augie's favorite. Especially your rice pudding, that's the best. I make it for him quite frequently. <laughs> rice pudding and jelly beans go. Do they? Sure. Mm -hmm. Never tried that one before. Mm -hmm. I put peanuts on ice cream mm -hmm. too. We never really get into intricate conversations. We just talk about the present because she doesn't believe in the past. She doesn't want to know of things that happened a long time ago simply because they've already happened. Forward to the future. future. I think that the past was very important because you learn from the past and of what's already happened for the future. And I sometimes go out and buy her groceries because she has a problem with her lungs and she can't get out very often. I think that one of the biggest problems that bothers me is the fact that there's money in the world. Money is just a whole different way of turning the barter system around. I think that if there wasn't money, then nobody would be starving. They, there would have to be some kind of a limit to food. into groups of people that just aren't the right people to hang around. I have fun by myself. I don't have any group, and I'm do I feel I'm just doing fine.